wait I'm waiting on uh I'm waiting on DJ to send me girl send me the tags now let me see what she sent it on hold up y'all hold up girl I did not get no text from you I'm looking in the message I'm looking in my messenger I don't see nothing look because you're supposed to be looking in your text messages oh gee whiz let me go to WhatsApp. Psh. Nope, I don't see nothing from you in WhatsApp. Because it's in your text messages. Okay, you sent me a message. Okay, messages. Okay, are we calling from the three? Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, I'm going to call you now. Oh, my God. They literally What's this thing? Calling you now. This was the hardest connection I have ever tried to pursue. <laughs> you Girl, are hard. I have to be creative. I think I think the government is fucking with my phone. I'm I'm serious. No, you just dumb and don't know how to operate it, and you're 47 years old. Because they know that I'm waking women up. And girl, they, 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 I think I'm being censored, but that's what, but none of that matters. We got through. You had me cracking up. You said you was looking dykey. I was looking dykey. I don't, because you got to understand when you a big girl, hold on, you got company. Hold on. Okay. Hello? Hello? Crystal Swirls, you're live. Hey. Hey, is this Ariana? Yeah. Ariana, girl, we got DJ on the line, and DJ, I want you to, I want you to pick up where you left off, girl. Ariana, buckle up your seatbelt and listen. Okay. Now, okay. D, now, DJ, go ahead and, and shoot the shot. You get the most. I mean, I'm not gonna say the most, because like you said, of obviously, if you're looking great, you know, you put uh, a lot of effort into your look that day. Of course, you're gonna get attention. That's obvious. But it seems like you get just as much, or probably more, attention when you're looking bummy. It's Girl, crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> wondering okay you know i'm i'm over 300 well over 300 i'm i'm looking like a grandma on her way to a funeral girl it, 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 seriously and for these you men they are looking because you gotta understand something between your motherfucking legs you got a what a pussy now see us girls you know we're picky we got standards. We, you know, we, we're picky. Men are not picky, sweetheart. I tried to tell women that. And they like, Oh, girl, you ain't picky either. Let me find a good part of the conversation, if there is one. Because I really don't want to hear about what she's got between her legs. Hold on. Oh, hey. like. I was going to say earlier that um, I don't like it when people say, let men come to you. But mo really, most of the guys have come to me are either not my type or they turn out to be creeps. And that's another thing. They expect us to not uh, want to be attracted. Like, for example, they're like, oh, you women say you want a relationship and a, and a good guy. But why are, why are all these good guys single? Maybe the good guy has black teeth and hasn't flossed since 1997. And they do, oh, my God. They do not. Maybe. They do not, not floss. Like they, they do not. The only the, the only men yeah. that floss are the ones that are dentists. Like they 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 some nasty motherfuckers. I'm sorry. I, and, and you know if you don't get the meat out your teeth or the stuff out your teeth, your breath will stink. Yeah, your breath. Is, or it, it could whatever it is. You can't. I don't care. I, maybe it is a shallow. But if you can't dress, if you whatever, so what? I'm not attracted to you. Get over. I don't care how good you. I'm a good guy, but you're not attracted, sweetheart. I don't know what to tell you. They want to exactly. be attracted. They want to be attracted to the woman they are with. Why can't we want attractiveness? We're women, so we just want a man, any man, any kind of man. Like, please. 
<laughs> and that and imagine that's we, that takes a that ta- you don't think that men are relieved that that's that that's a one sided, um, unfair double standard because think about it of course women all that pressure to on your looks imagine what that shit does to your self esteem the pressure it does. shit I don't feel pressured I don't feel pressured at all. Because think about it. Of course. Women, all that pressure to on your looks. Imagine what that shit does to your self-esteem, the pressure it does. Men, imagine, men are relieved that they don't have that pressure on them. You only feel pressure on your self-esteem if your ass is ugly and you know your makeup won't fix you. Is that what you think when you look in the mirror? And that that's only for... Mm-hmm. Oh, that's for girls. I don't got to smoke good. I don't got to do all that. Oh, right. They can stink. Oh, I forgot about that one. It's crazy. Oh, and- <laughs> if y'all picking stinky men, that's y'all's fault. If there's a man out there that thinks he don't have to smell good, he probably will be alone. And he ain't my concern. I wouldn't be talking about him. But here y'all are. You're, ew, you're com- the only time a person complains about something is when they want it to be fixed so that they can enjoy it. Y'all keep complaining about this, that, and the other. Y'all want them to change because y'all want them. Whether you're talking about Tyrone today and what he's doing wrong or what Brad's doing today and what he's doing wrong. Y'all keep talking about, like she said, her this video is delusions of male creatures. I guess that's going to include everybody. Y'all spend so much time talking about they do this wrong, they do that wrong, they do this wrong, they do that wrong. I mean, damn. Talk about some positive shit. Ain't none of y'all been out on a date or something? Just gonna continue talking about (sighs) what men y'all encounter or don't encounter you just want to come on here just keep talking about what men don't do and how bad they are i thought i was gonna run through this i'm only an hour and a half into this live i don't know if i'm gonna continue i'm trying to get through it i'm gonna i'm not gonna go past two hours on my video here so maybe I can find some interesting conversation let me see if I can find something and then they try to act like dick size don't bitch I am hurting your feelings today I am sorry this is a public service announcement to all you motherfuckers and there's a lot of you motherfuckers out there you ain't got no size matters (laughs) It's time to hurt some feelings. Put that in the motherfucking chat. I need a journalist, bitch. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Talking about needing big D's and all that stuff. I ain't heard that crap since high school. And then now here. Grown ass women in here going on about Big D. You can holler all you want about Big D. But if your little P is too small or you're not wide enough, hip, you know, you know, no, no, no. It will hurt. And I know 
oh, we push our babies, yeah, yeah, yeah. After dilation, yes. But if you, not every cat can take every large dick there is. So they can sit here and scream, big, big, ha, 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 ha. If you try and take more than what your cat will allow, you're going to hurt yourself. And you can sit here and kiki and ha ha about big dicks, but if you're only able to take a six or a seven, you go any further than that, you're going to hurt yourself. So this right here is just childish high school talk. And I bet if you find a man that treats you exactly like you want to be treated and he is on the small side, whatever that size may be, because small and large is different to different people, but if he's on the smaller side and it fits you perfectly and you are satisfied in the end, then that's what matters. You haunt, I bet you won't give it up. I bet you won't give it up. If it's on the small side and it gets you where you want to go and he's doing everything else you want to do, paying the bills, being provided, blah, 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 I bet you that small D won't matter then. Y'all need to stop tripping. Size matters. Cause I'm in a, now I'm in a clutch and they pearls. They cl oh, and, and then when they start talking about eating pussy right away, girl, you know they can't. You you know the dick is little. You, I'm sorry. I've never seen a motherfucker with a big dick talk about eating pussy right away. Never. Right. Perhaps if he wants to start that way with some foreplay, he will. Now if he's only wanting to do that then you can question him but if he wants to start doing that first then let him some guys may want to do that first before putting it in because i'm pretty sure at least i would hope that you probably want to suck it first before he puts it in you and not suck it after i don't care how clean you might think you are ugh Maybe a little bit of for me. Like, like, um, if they aren't at least eight inches, if they're below eight inches, then I'm not gonna wanna have sex with them, period. Girl, are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Public service announcement, bitch, where have you been? These motherfuckers don't even make it to six, okay? <laughs> if they can hit to six, and they know, and the ones with little dicks, the ones with four inches, they lie. Oh, I got six inches. He lying. He got four inches. Where the ruler at? <laughs> right. and, and it wasn't. This is some high school bullshit. People, guys lying on their D's ain't nothing new. Women lying on their breast size with push up bras and shit ain't nothing new. Oh my goodness. If they ain't gonna have some adult conversation, I'm gonna end this shit real quick. Let me find something worth recording. We want you to show and prove. What did you make us for? You got to be kidding me. Because we got no problem getting our pussies wet and submitting. If you provide, the pussy starts juicing the fuck. I don't give a fuck if you butt-ass ugly. If you trick it for some reason, the pussy start going. Oh, does it now? So now you can be ugly and it starts, the cat starts watering, getting wet. I'm just waiting for her to say old now and that'll cancel everything she said earlier in this live. I can't, there, there ain't no, there's no freaking way. I'm going to be getting wet for an ugly dude. I don't care what he, money he out. Well, no. 
I got standards, bitch. And start juicing the fuck up. <laughs> and since we talked about height, um, like height matters. I'm not. I'm one of those women that thinks height matters to me. Like I want a guy that's at least six feet. Like I don't want a guy that's like well, the shortest he could be is at least five eight. But if he's like shorter than five eight, then it's a no. Yeah, I'm 5'8 and is a cutoff. What? I'm short. I'm short. I'm 4'11, y'all. And I feel like if I shouldn't care, right? Because everybody's taller than me. Kids are taller than me. But it's like, you still want a tall man? You don't want no little short, like you said, short little nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, he's tall. Like, he's not tall. Like, he's short. Like, what the fuck? Like, you don't want no tall man. They don't make the cut, sweetheart. They they not even. And, and the thing is, if you don't make the cut, you're not even trying. Like, sweetheart, you definitely don't make the cut. You definitely ain't trying. And then I'm not trying to say like, oh, women run around and you know, you know, act like you're selling pussy. But I don't think you should be gag goofy either and just be out here being a fool either. It's got to be a balance. Where's the balance? And, and and my thing is, that, and they want you to do so, like, girl, they, girl, a lot of women say, we not, listen, once you take providing out of it, look, all you motherfuckers that don't want to provide, you should be getting the fattest, ugliest, most, I don't keep myself up, bitch, on the planet. Just send them a picture of you. That's all you got to do. Send them a picture of you. Perfect description. You should not be acting like you're going to get Beyonce. I'm sorry. The only ones that should be getting, if you're not provided, you should get the bottom of the barrel. You should get the scraps. I'm sorry. You should Y'all get the scraps. Seriously. What you said, Crystal, what is providing? Giving me your hand-me-downs? Like, they ain't providing. Me think, me think, me think the, I'm talking. If y'all didn't catch that, she said, what is providing? Give me, giving me the hand-me-downs? And another woman said, that's not providing. But yet, when that guy across the street from Crystal tried to give her his old tennis shoes, she said he was providing. Oh, you can't make this shit up. And about... First of all, they could be a chef and own a restaurant, and then you bring me food at the end of the night. You think that's provide? Like you didn't do nothing. You're a chef and you own a restaurant, so you bringing me that food. It's delicious, but like you said, I'm getting fat. I, my bills are still on due. Like no, I look. I pay my. Wait a minute. This guy owns a restaurant. He's a chef, and he brings you some food home, and that's not providing. I say that is because not only is he bringing you something home so you don't have to cook, but he owns a restaurant, so there's money in that. In the house that you're sitting in, he's providing that off that restaurant that he owns at where he's the chef at that he's bringing these meals home to you. But instead of being grateful for that, you're saying he's bringing food home and you're sitting around getting fat. Well, that's your fault, not his. Why aren't you doing something besides sitting around getting fat? Y'all will twist and turn everything ooh, to fit your narrative. No matter what a man does, it's wrong. He owns a restaurant that's making money, put you in the house that you're in, and he brings you something home from the restaurant. You don't have to cook. He's making me fat. Well, what what he supposed to do? Get on the treadmill for you too? Um, no, wait, hold on. They will give you everything except the bills. They will give you flowers, dates. Let me tell you something. Dates do not do anything for you. They give you shit that you can't do nothing with, like flowers. What the fuck you gonna do with that? Put it in a vape. You asked for flowers from Top Shelf Todd. Hello? 
Peace is dead three days later. What the fuck you gonna do with a dinner date? Shit it out. Mm, I can shit it out. You feel me? Yeah. And meanwhile, you got bills up your act. The girl bond. This shit is a... Y'all are so ridiculous to think some guy's just gonna come out and just start paying your bills day one. Y'all are fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's a nice dream, but y'all are fucking ridiculous. Ugh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm gonna end this right here, and I honestly probably won't come back to any more of it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just tired. Um, I just, I do these reviews, whatever you want to call it, for entertainment. I do it strictly for entertainment. Because there is nothing that they're saying that I can relate to. Mm -mm. Nope. Nothing at all. Anyway. This is Angel Charms. And I'm out.